talk about um, you know, how do you figure out if you've got some things in the block state and some things in the ready state? Um, what's going to happen? Are we going to be good or not? What would cause things from go to a ready state to a run state or a block state to a run state? We talked about, you know, hey, if you've got a block in a queue, you only have a ready queue and a block queue, what's maybe one of the disadvantages? Now we've solved it. Um, if you had code like this, um, could you get into a deadlock situation and potentially what would you change in order to get out of it? We talked a little bit about the, um, the user level threading and the kernel level threading. Uh, what are the advantages and disadvantages? Um, what is overlapping versus interleaving? Basically, what do you have to have in order to interleave? Or make a better state. What do you have to have in order to do overlapping? Multiple CPUs, yeah. Okay, um, again, the whole P and D thing, mutual exclusion. Scheduling, if you have batch jobs. Uh, what happens if you do round robin? What happens if you do um, first come first serve? How about shortest job first? And then the whole baker's out room. Can you go ahead and figure out is this going to go into the deadlock for you know if you have X number of resources free? Okay, so that should be everything from the first three uh, sets on the intro processes and. Um, there we go. And again, there's sort of an implied thing. You have to know what a process is. You have to know what a thread is. What's the difference between process and thread, um, et cetera. So any questions on that? Again, I went ahead and gave you access 